In JD Lab to You, you can create an amazing high quality book or album for your clients. I'll be walking you through the steps in this quick video. We'll start by choosing a book style from either diamond, emerald, or sapphire. We can then choose the size. Clicking on an album icon will display a simple instruction page that includes a link to download layout guides and a link to the video you are now watching. We'll start by pressing the forward button here. This brings us to the cover section. Cover choices are different for each style and size of an album. For this example, we are using the 10 by 10 Diamond album. To choose a cover, we have to click and drag it down to the work area. This will show us what the book will look like. The standard cover has no image on it, but there are other choices, including a completely custom cover that will allow us to design the entire front, spine, and back covers. It is highly recommended that before designing a cover, you should get layout guides. There, you can download Photoshop guides that contain precise measurements. Here is a quick example of a custom cover. Depending on the style and cover, when we turn the page, we may see the inside of the cover on the left and a fly sheet on the right. All of our albums have fly sheets at the beginning and end to protect the pages. These pages are not editable. We can tell because there are no page choices above. They are there to show a visual version of the finished book. We have more choices on the next page. Here on the left is the back of the fly sheet and a 10x10 page on the right. Or we can choose to start the book on the left by pulling down the 10 by 20 panoramic page. Now we can begin building our album. Keep in mind that we can do anything here that we could do on a standard print, such as creating custom image nodes and adding text. For a full demonstration of designer tools, click here. Our help page includes several instructional videos. Each page of our album can be a single image, a template, or a custom design. At any time during the building process, we can add pages by pressing either of these Add a Page buttons, or remove pages by pressing the Remove These Pages button. We can't add a page when we are at the beginning or end of our album. Simply return to the Pages section and Add Pages. The minimum number of pages in an album is 20, or 10 panos, so we can only remove pages if we have added some. To review our album, we have a few choices. The default is the two-page view, but we also have the grid view, used for rearranging pages and seeing everything on a single screen, and also the strip view, which allows us to scroll horizontally through the book, which is a faster way to look through a longer book. If we decide to make changes or start over, the reset button here will reset the entire album. We can remove just the images or remove all the templates and custom designs you've added. There's also the more nuanced reset button over here, which will only reset the pages you're currently viewing. Entire template refers to any template we have on this page. At the end of the album, we will see a fly sheet, the inside back cover, and the completed page. If you have not done so already, you should review your book thoroughly before proceeding. Once you are satisfied, press Add to Order. Please note, closing JDLab to you before clicking Add to Order will result in your entire album being lost. Our order is not started until we click Add to Order, so without that step, the program will have nothing to save as it is closing. An album added to the shopping cart can still be edited or removed. If you have created a completely custom album using templates or the designer tools, we highly recommend clicking the Add to Favorites button. This will create a template of the entire book without the images so that you can choose it in the future, tweak it as necessary, and create another beautiful album. This is a great time saver. Once the album is in the cart, feel free to add more items to your order, or complete your order. Due to the size and nature of an album, though, we recommend only ordering one album or book per order.